Hello and welcome to Zenata Consulting's Beginner Series. Uh, this is going to be our second video in our series on Zoho Analytics. Uh, in this video, we're going to do a little overview of how to kind of dig into data and understand what you're looking at uh, inside of Zoho Analytics. Uh, from Zenata Consulting, I'm Tyler Colt, and let's jump right into the walkthrough. Um, so here I've, you know, pulled up Zoho Analytics. Uh, if you watched our previous video on how to set up a workspace and a data source, you'll recognize our primary workspace here that I pulled in some data from both CRM and Zoho Books. Um, so what we're going to do in this video is kind of open that up, look at some of the data tables and compare them to, you know, the CRM application so we can start to get a good idea of you know, what lives where and how things are going to look when you pull them into analytics. Um, this video will be a little more dry than the last one, looking at some of these data tables. But as you dig into reporting, it's pretty important to get a baseline understanding of, you know, how this data looks when it gets pulled in before you've processed it into a report. So with that, let's go ahead and pull up our primary workspace. So now that we've opened up our workspace, it's going to drop me into the Explorer view. The Explorer view is kind of a top-down way to look at your data, your reports, and your dashboards. In this video, we're kind of going to focus on data to get an idea of what's under the hood. Um, but it is important to just know very quickly here that you know, your data are your you know, raw data, basically spreadsheets that live behind the scenes of all the various applications. You then use that data to create various reports, which can be done as charts, pivot tables, summary tables, and so on. And then from those various reports, you roll them into dashboards, which basically is one page that contains multiple reports, uh, as well as widgets and different trackers. Um, but again, we want to start here kind of at the bottom of the table here, looking at our raw data. Um, so here, if we look at our data, you know, row number one here is one of our deals. Uh, deal name here is Benton, one of the Zoho CRM kind of demo items. So I can kind of look back and forth between the CRM and between analytics and get an idea of, you know, what is going where, right? So we have our deal name, our amount, our expected revenue, right? And if we look over here in analytics, we have our deal name, our amount, and our expected revenue. You know, so each of these individual fields basically creates a column in a data table in analytics so that you're able to pull a report on that value. Now, I do want to highlight, you know, you'll notice the one big difference is if we look at something like account name. So in the CRM, account name is this nice little blue, and it's basically a link over to that account in the CRM. Now, the difference is when you pull this into Zoho Analytics, you'll see that rather than the name, it's actually giving you this number. Uh, this number is the account ID. So again, you know, in the CRM here, if we were to look at this account, you know, the last numbers here in the URL are that account ID. And over in Analytics, we'll see that that matches up to that account. Um, you know, it's important to know because sometimes you'll pull this up and it gets a little bit confusing where if you're in the CRM, you know, and you want to pull a report, you would just pull that account name from the deal. Um, but once you get into analytics, you kind of have to understand that the data is more referential, meaning that this is just a key that refers to an account so that if I want to pull a report, we can line up an account and any of the deals that have this ID in that account name. And now that's going to be the same case really with any of the fields on the deal that are referring to something that isn't stored directly on that deal. So even something like the deal owner, well, this is actually pulling in the user ID of the Zoho user who owns that deal. Um, now, there are a couple different ways to kind of put together reports based on these connections. Um, you can pull them using query tables, or which we'll show in our next video. Zoho is actually able to line them up for you automatically if you're pulling reports that are, you know, relatively basic. If you need some crazy, crazy reporting, you might have to pull up a query where you're going to code in a way to kind of line tables up. 
but really nine times out of 10, you're going to be able to just pull together reports without really any code, even if they're pulling from multiple modules. And so if we look at the data, you know, as we'd expect, you know, each of these accounts has their own column for an ID, which would match this ID that's over inside of a deal under the account name so that these things can be joined and create reports that look at multiple different tables. And so the last little thing I do want to show here is kind of a little value add with being in Zoho. Um, so, you know, whenever we're working with data, the best way to line up two rows on two different sheets is always going to be with an ID rather than a name or anything like that that might be different in two different systems. And so if we look at our accounts here and we look at our customers pulling from Zoho Finance, we can actually see that one of the columns that comes over with the customers table is that CRM account ID. So if we find our Benton account here, our Benton customer, I should say, that's coming from books, they actually have a reference ID here that refers to the account over inside of the CRM data. So we'll look at this a little bit more in our next video and how this actually plays out when you're pulling reports. Um, but it's just good to know that, you know, in all of these various data tables, you have these things that connect them so that you can pull reports from more than one module. If you ever want to get a top down of kind of how the data looks as a whole, here under the data tab, you can go down to the model diagram section. And this kind of gives you a visual representation of your data. And so we can see, you know, if we look at the finance data, we see all of these various connections and which IDs are stored where that help us connect our tables together. Um, so again, you know, this stuff gets a little bit more tricky to work with, but if we look at the CRM, you know, we'll see in a deal, we have this contact link, we have an account link, we have a deal owner link, and we can actually look at the color coding to see which ones of these IDs connect to what. So if you're ever thinking about how you're going to pull a report and kind of how you would line up data from two different tables, sometimes it helps to pull up this diagram and kind of get an idea of what lives where and how you would make those connections. So that's going to wrap it up for our video here on, you know, working with data and understanding the data within Zoho Analytics. Um, if you found this useful, be sure to subscribe down below so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Um, whether they're in this series or any of our webinars and additional trainings that we post here. Again, thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you on our next video.